now is we're going to be looking at what happens when blood is thrown off of an object. What happens if blood is dripping off of an object? Bottom line is, you might see a blood stain like blood, something like this on a knife at a scene. You generally won't see. You generally won't see this at a scene because that's not the way blood looks when it comes out of the human body. But blood dripping off of a knife, unless there's a force acting on it, is not going to drip very far. It's not going to be one of these things where it drips and goes down the street. When you see blood going from one place to another, and like from one apartment to another, or for, you see it going down the street, that means somebody's cut and it's actively bleeding. Blood passively dropping off of an object, like a knife, only goes so far, then it stops. The thing is that blood, you don't normally see, I have seen it though, but you don't normally see blood like this. If, this is, if somebody gets stabbed and this comes out, why don't you see something like this? Why it doesn't look like this? What do you think? The skin wipes it off, and so does the clothes. The skin is going to act, it's going to be pulled through something like this. And so the skin's going to wipe it off. And what you'll have is something that looks more like, like that. Now, it might be a little thicker than that. You might have some edges like it, more like that sometimes. And you know that that has been in somebody or gone through something and then pulled out again when it looks like that. So that's something that's just pretty easy. The other thing is, when blood leaves, when blood leaves uh, a mark and it gets cast off, it gets cast off in very specific ways. A knife like this, the centripetal force, centripetal force is going to force the blood off on, on the edge. And so when you see something like that, chances are it came from a knife. You've got an, imp you've got an impression pattern on the floor. And you've got the impression of that, you've got the blade here, you've got the blade here, like this. And so you've got a pretty good impression. You see someone's cast something off or thrown something like that, you have a pretty good idea where it comes from. Now the tines of the fork should also, if I, if, if I have the surface area and the centripetal force correct, then, then each droplet is going to come off each one of those tines. And so I can see that as well. If, on the other hand, if I have it flat like this, it's going to be more of a straight line, more like the knife. If I have a spoon or something which is wider, I should, it should come off in approximately the same width as the object. And as it goes further back, it's going to get more spread out. But you can begin to see this is, this is not from a knife. You don't know what it's from. You don't know that it's from a fork unless you have a bloody fork lying there. You could guess it was from a fork. fork. But people do get killed with forks. So anyway, you can get an idea. Fingers are also, you see people, you see this kind of thing at scenes. Like if you see, you'll see this kind of stuff at scenes as well, where someone's fighting for their life, and they've got bloody hands, and they've got cuts on their hands, and they're going like this, trying to keep somebody away from them. And you'll see this kind of stuff. You'll see body patterns when someone's been stabbed in the back. You'll see body patterns like this or like this you be able to see that what's happened. You can see that this is clearly a drag, and you can see the fact that her hair was also empty. because you can tell by the way that the, the tendrils of the hair, you can see the very thin lines of her hair. The wild skin, I'm going to go like that.